Hello everyone, Dan Toombs, the curry guy here, and today I'm going to make one of my favorites, which is a chicken methi curry, fresh chicken uh, methi. Um, methi is a little bit difficult to find in a regular supermarket, but it's, you can find it at Asian markets. You can also use the dried stuff. I use a little bit of both. So to get started here, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil to that pan, and then I'm going to put into it about a tablespoon each of, well, coriander seeds, um, fennel seeds, one star anise, and an Asian bay leaf there. We're just going to let that go. And to cool the pan down, we're going to immediately put in some fried onion. All right. Now, let's see. I've got to make it a naan here for my dinner as well, so I I think I better get that out right now. It's looking like it's cooking faster than I was expecting. Got that there. And give this a good stir. To that, I'm going to add some finely chopped coriander stems, stalks, and about two chilies, two green chilies. We'll give that a good stir. One tablespoon of garlic and ginger paste. And we're just gonna fry that around there for a little bit until it's kind of making a nice mixed masala. All right, see how my chicken's doing? I've got some chicken going over here as well, which we're going to add to it. Now, for the different um, spices, there aren't many, this is basar curry powder. It's uh, kind of spicy. You could, you could substitute chili powder if you wanted to. Um, I usually use about a half teaspoon. And then we've got some of my mixed powder. You could also use curry powder. All right, and we'll give that a nice stir. And I'm just gonna swirl in a little bit of base sauce. You can get my recipe right there. Now, as you can see, I'm, I got the fresh methy here. That's fresh methy too. And what this is, is I've put this in this uh, bowl with a little bit of a teaspoon of salt. Some people find methi or fenugreek leaves to be a little bit bitter. So by putting them in salt and then squeezing all the water out that you can, that's putting that bitterness into the bowl. So about a teaspoon of salt with a nice big bunch of methi leaves, that'll do the job. Now, I don't normally do this because I don't bother about the, the, the bitterness, but some people are, so you might want to do that. And chop this up nicely. And we're just going to throw that in there like that with about 70 milliliters tomato. All right. That's smelling so nice. And that is my cue to add just a little bit more base sauce. This curry, it's a balti, so it's going to cook. It's going to serve about one to two people. It's not like the larger um, ones that are in my cookbook. Uh, this is actually in uh, the Curry Guy Easy. Um, and as you can see, you're going to be able to make it in about 10 minutes very quickly. Let that cook down a bit. All right, time for the chicken. Let's see if that's make sure that's not too hot. Ah, all right. Now. And put that right in there like that. Give that a good stir. You could use raw chicken if you wanted to. Just let make sure it's cooked through. Um, take a little bit longer. But I do like, uh, I can use tandoori chicken. You could use uh, tandoori marinated chicken cooked on the barbecue. And give that another good stir. A 
Toast of the base sauce. That's going to cook down. And while my naan is still quite hot, I'm going to put some garlic and butter on it. Nice healthy dose. All right. Now, there's very little for us to do now. Uh, I'm going to add to this at the end, just a little bit of dried methi. You want to break it up in your fingers. It brings out the flavor. Nice, good, healthy dose of coriander. And then last but not least, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of plain natural yogurt. This is not, uh, this is not the Greek stuff. This is plain natural yogurt. And we're going to add this about one tablespoon at a time. That will help make sure it doesn't curdle. This is smelling spectacular. Look at this. All right. And there you have it. Now I know, just from experience, it's going to need a little bit of salt. And we're about ready, folks. So I'm going to uh, let that cook down for about a minute or so. And then we're going to come back for a taste test, which I'm sure is going to taste just fine. So then, let's give this a try. There's nothing like having this right from the Balti pan. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see how this is. Mm. There's a reason why I put this in my next book. It's so good. If you like chicken methy, you've got to give this recipe a try. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. i got lots more coming, so please subscribe. And thank you very much.